Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for July 15th through the 21st. I'm going to be taking a look at the person connected to your energy, how you feel about them, they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. And this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. And yes, roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Angel Guide Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. And if y'all have not seen my little uh, YouTube short I just posted, Bobby is in here. So if you hear snoring in the background, sorry she's out cold right now she did not want to leave while i was doing your readings so i was like come on she just looked at me like i'm staying <laughs> so now she's napping um let's go ahead and jump right in the person connected to libra's energy for the week of july 15th through the 21st show me how libra feels about this person Okay, so you feel like this is your soulmate, but they walked away or they have energetically let go, um, and it's making you feel alone, isolated here. Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're trying to put on this... Um, outer appearance that you're fine, you know, trying to handle things well, but we do have the four of wands, the eight of cups, and that five of pentacles. So with this person, you do feel like, you know, I really do care about them. This is my soulmate. Some of you, maybe it's a best friend, but you know, this is someone you have a really strong relationship with, um, but feeling like this person is energetically letting go or walking away from the love that's there. And that's making you feel like this loss of them and not knowing what to do some of you are even thinking do they have somebody else what's going on um, let's go ahead and take a look at how this person feels about you They do feel like there are some challenges between the two of you, but they're trying to be patient here. They do have a lot of love for you and you do make this person happy. And so they want just more communication. They want to open up some more communication with you, but that's not how you're feeling, right? So we have the strength card, the queen of cups, the sun, and then that eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, maybe some of you met and it ha things happen so fast, um, but maybe there was a lot of communication in the past as well and that has changed a little bit but this person's trying to be patient i feel very determined to you know love you open up to you show you love and support make you happy um maybe even surprising you with some kind of trip coming up what's that about because you know the eight of wands is about travel so if they've been acting a little distant there's something that they're trying to hide from you but i don't see it in a bad way it's like they're trying not to get found out they want to surprise you or something like that so let's go ahead and get the connection between the two of you we do have the page of cups there's feelings for one another open communication you both want this very mature knowing what you want um the page of cups the two of wands and the king of pentacles why are you feeling isolated and that this person's letting go and walking away from you then is this something within yourself that you're just feeling like even though there's love there it just feels like it's not enough and maybe some of you are going through financial issues as well um, and that makes it hard but i do see a lot of love you know a lot of emotional love here um, passion for one another being very stable and grounded in this situation here uh, the magician at the bottom of the deck can say a lot of things but i am saying be careful of your manifestations because if you're in a very solid relationship don't start manifesting things to go wrong 
because you know that can definitely attract some negative energy into your life and you don't want that so let's go ahead and clarify this four of wands to start here almost like you feel that this is everything I could possibly want, but then starting to get conflicted about if this person's going to play games with you. Do they want a relationship? Do they want this? And it it's almost like you feel, I don't want to say not good enough, but like you don't deserve this kind of relationship or love. You absolutely do. So that four of wands is clarified by the magician, the five of swords, and the three of pentacles. So in a good relationship here, one that's very powerful, um, I see a lot of manifestations going into a negative state when it comes to you know working together on something that's beautiful and destined and meant to be together, and you know. Um, creating blessings in your life the wheel of fortune is about blessings and good times you know things can get hard between the two of you or in anybody's life in general not everything good doesn't last forever we go through highs and lows but whenever it, you have somebody around you as well libra i'm going to say it like this you have somebody around you that is negatively impacting your relationship here and so that person's energy is coming off into your relationship and making you have doubts about your relationship that this person here that is attached to your energy feels is fine they love you they know that you two have their your challenges but they want to do nothing but love you support you and they want everything to be good between the two of you so you know sometimes our mind can lead us to places of doubt and conflict uh, within our thoughts of but what if you know they do this what if they don't really care are they just playing games uh, don't focus on that focus on what's good if this person messes up then you'll know when they mess up and if they do then you will know how to handle the situation you're not going to put up with it right you're not going to put up with somebody who is going to I'm going to say just make a mistake because we're going to start there. Somebody who makes a mistake and you're not going to let them know they made a mistake, right? Um, so I don't see you turning a blind eye or acting naive by the situation if it does happen. But um, there's this energy of you feeling that this person is walking away from the love that is there. Like it's not enough, but... It's making you want to hold on tighter because you feel that there's a stagnation between the two of you. And if they walk away, it's going to break your heart. Wow. Um, don't hold on so tight in that way. You're like, I really want a relationship with them. Ten of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. And then the bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. This heartbreak and pain that you create there... Um, they haven't walked away from you. That's the thing. But feeling that the emotional attachment that they've let go or they're walking away from the love that you have for them and you want to create a life with them. You want to keep this. You feel like this person is your happy ever after. You're very invested in them and feeling that you know, things are getting stagnant between the two of you, or they're just not interested in this love that you have for them, which breaks your heart, which kind of tells me that you're the one that likes a lot more attention. Maybe you like to cuddle more, or, you know, um, be very open and vocal with this person and they're not giving you that not all the time. And that's making you feel isolated. It's making you feel left out in the cold here. So, I mean, it makes sense. Let's go ahead and clarify that five of pentacles. This is all about manifesting that you're going to lose this person. We have the ace of wands, the knight of pentacles. You're 
you're manifesting this because you feel like this person is just moving slow or stagnating and you're hoping that you two move forward faster. It's like you want things to move faster between the two of you. What's the rush? For this person, you know, we'll get to them and how they feel, but you feeling at a loss and feeling left out in the cold by this person um, with that five of pentacles clarified by the ace of wands, knight of pentacles, the star card, and at the bottom of the deck is the eight of wands here. That ace of wands is also about manifestations and like bringing those, I mean, you're holding this wand almost like a magic wand, right? And creating that magic. If things start stagnating, um, I would say take a step back and look at what the situation, like why this is happening. But I don't see it on their end. They don't feel that way. They feel like, okay, there's challenges, but I do love Libra. Like I really am happy with Libra. I want to do nothing but love Libra. So that's where I'm confused because the loss of this person is something being manifested because you feel like they're just going too slow and you're still holding on to hope that things will pick up and move faster between the two of you. If you're at a distance from each other and you've been wanting to see this person, that's where that travel is coming in. This person wanting to surprise you. Um, so just be patient. Everything will happen how it's supposed to. Let's go ahead and clarify the strength card. Yeah, this person really likes you. There's this determination from this person to see things as easy flowing, moving forward here. Um, they don't know. Okay. So the strength card is clarified by the Empress, six of swords, 10 of swords, and then the knight of swords is at the bottom of the deck. They get frustrated that you worry about things ending. They feel that everything's going fine, but things are moving towards this direction of feeling a permanent ending, which is very frustrating to this person because they feel like you focus on things ending and they feel like that is challenging, but they're trying to be patient. They're trying to see things without judgment. They're trying to move forward, but they are having this block here where maybe you have gone through a lot, Libra. You've gone through some situations where, you know, you've been hurt one too many times. You've been betrayed one too many times. And yes, that makes them mad for you, but it also frustrates this person that you see them as another person that's going to hurt to hurt you instead of seeing it from a fresh perspective because this person does not want to leave you they want to and i'm going to tell you they really want to talk about things with you they want to have a serious conversation about this um if they have and you keep saying well i don't feel that way i feel like you're gonna leave they're getting very frustrated they don't know how to fix this so they do love you they're trying to look at different options and choices here um look Okay, if you two are dating, this person has chosen you, okay? Queen of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Cups, the Death card, the Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. They choose to have love with only you, only one in you. Other options, that's over, that's done. There's an end to that. They're cutting that out of their life. They don't want that. They really want to focus their attention and their hard work on a relationship with you. So if you're dating this person, they're very much about you. So if you met each other online or you knew that you two had other people at some point they don't want that they want only you um, but they're also looking at different options and choices and brainstorming how do i fix this situation that needs to end because i really need to talk to libra about this and i really want to work on things i want them to see that i'm trying my hardest to um, be there in their life. There's also the fact that this person is working a lot. The eight of pentacles is about this person investing their time in work here. And they're very determined, um, and working diligently to finish and achieve something here. And so they're like, I'm not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and clarify the sun. Okay. 
you make this person really happy. They want things to grow between the two of you. They see you as a person they could build a life with, um, someone that they could spend their life with and wanting to take a chance here. And that requires great change. And it's, it's like a, a shock to their life, but they're really in love with you. They also want to surprise you. So this person might want to propose to you or propose you two moving in together. Um, if you're already living together, they want to propose to you. So they've been holding back there. I do see that with the Knight of Cups, them offering a big proposal gift here of love. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Tower, you know, wanting to shock you, surprise you, take this leap of faith here. And it is a a huge change but it's something that they want with you they don't want to give you up they want things to move in a more positive direction with you and it does require changing one's life and creating something new here let's get the outcome between the two of you This person is really getting frustrated. I'm just going to let you know. They are really frustrated. They might be a little short with you because they're feeling that you're stuck in doubt and they're really trying to show you that I, they care for you. And the Six of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. They want to create these memories with you. They don't want you to hold on to the past, like you being stuck in the past, which is challenging about what somebody else did to you is not fair to this person, um, which that makes them very frustrated. And they might, you know, say something like, I'm just tired of you thinking that I'm the, and you know, and just come off very agitated, you know, because the Knight of Swords is agitated here. And it's because they're just tired of feeling stuck in the same place and not going anywhere and moving forward with you. And they are determined to, you know, create good memories with you and make you see that they're not like this past person. So, or past people that did these things to you. They want you to not treat them like your past. They want you to focus on the present, which I feel is good as well, you know, um, but they're not giving up on you. This person is, you know, accepting this challenge here. So Libra, what we have here, we have take a step back. You're too close to the situation that not, I don't want to say too close to the situation. You're too close to your own altered reality of the situation of thinking you're going to lose this person and, you know, things aren't going to go anywhere and whatever has happened in your past is going to happen with this new person. And so take a step back and just clear your mind, take a walk, meditate, you know, watch meditation videos, go have lunch by yourself. Take a moment to do something that distracts your mind from all of this doubt that you're having, um, that this person is going to leave you or not want to be with you because somebody else did something wrong and clear your mind of that past and of that negativity. So that way you can focus on what is happening right now in your present and it says opportunity and change. So opportunity is being presented to you and this is talking about, are you ready to make that change? Because this person is ready to make that change with you, but you have to want it just as much. And it requires healing some things from your past and, you know, looking at the situation from, a, from above and seeing that it's not the same as it was with other people and what other people did because this person does not want to go anywhere they want things to grow and to get better with you they want you to know that they're here for you but they are getting frustrated that they constantly have to reassure you that they're going to be here so you know that becomes a frustrating factor but they're still willing to fight for you and get through these challenges that can be difficult and trying to be patient but still being frustrated so um this is what i have for you libra if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye